great walk. Yeah. So from me to you, thanks, thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, guys. Peace to you. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Y Valley Way. Yeah, it's a nice claggy day. You can't see, but Hay Bluff and Black Mountains are, are that way. We'll, we'll get to some higher ground later. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the clag and the mist will clear, but I do love it. It's very magical and mystical. A lot of people complain about it, but no. It's all part of life's rich tapestry, as they say. <laughs> so, we're at another gate. Gateway to the mind, isn't it? <laughs> Walking, gateways to the mind. They do, they open us up, you know. I'm already beginning to open up now. As soon as I step out of Hereford, short bus ride to Hale and Wye, uh, a wonderful cup of tea with an old friend. Now I'm on the trail and I've really got to get going because uh, I've not walked this stretch before. I'm not, not certain of how long it's going to take. And I have a rendezvous with Mike later. But yeah, things are opening up. There's no spectacular views yet, guys. It's just a walk and a talk. There will no doubt be lots more wonderful trees along the route. Yeah, hey on why. It's uh it's at a bit of an intersection. It's bordering Radnorshire, was it Breckenshire and England. And it's always been a place where people have gathered. The English, the Welsh, families of you know, married into one another from both sides of the border business, trade, ideas now, and art. And there's uh, a lot of outdoors around here, what with the Black Mountains on the doorstep. It is basically the gateway to the Black Mountains as far as the northwestern escarpment is concerned. It's a fantastic place. Lots of cool people about. <laughs> and I've not particularly felt cool over the years. I do in the swimming pool. <laughs> when I'm in the swimming pool, I'm in my element. But probably you guys out there, there'll be some of you lot out there that'll know what I'm talking about. I have felt really awkward in life, on the street and around and about. It may look as though I'm confident, but inside, there's a lot of uh, a lot of self-conscious self-conscious vibrations coursing through my body. Sometimes it doesn't feel like I'm walking at all. <clears throat> but when I'm out here, yeah, you do relax, don't you? You're able to let go of that. That self-consciousness, that awkwardness. I just passed some people now, you know. All people are people, right? Absolutely brilliant, wonderful people. But I have known the Uber Cool in the past, and I've not really cut it for them. Do you know what I mean? I've just passed a couple now. They live the life out here in Hay and Y. 
bohemian, you would say, maybe. And yeah, they carry a certain vibration, a certain idea uh, with regards to themselves and the world around them. I kind of come from a different family. You know, my family's got its story too. You know, they're, you know it's farming, special forces, this, that and the other. You'd think, you'd think I'd have plenty to feel proud about and, and yeah, I am proud of my family. But in life, I've not felt particularly proud. I've done some good things. I'm opening up now, guys. I'm just opening up. I've done some great things in my life. As did Paul, both of us together as twins. I think it was the twin factor. We carried a lot of uh, unworthiness inside because although people didn't see it, although it wasn't necessarily visible all the time, there was a lot of people competing with my twin and I. Always, constant. You see, the thing is with twins, when they looked at Paul and I, the identical nature, and we looked exactly the same, they immediately thought solidarity, comfort, support. And that's what everybody wants, isn't it? Comfort, support, solidarity, connection. And Paul and I seemingly had it in spades. And so those people who desired it but didn't have it, uh, hated Paul and I, and they allowed us to know it too, constantly throughout our lives. And uh, eventually, it permeated our being. It got through. You know, it's one of the reasons why we ended up doing a lot of drugs and drinking a lot. You know, it was just to bury that reality in life. The reality being, you have foes, you have opposition. Do you know what I'm saying? And our opposition were fierce. But, you know, we carried on walking and camping. Or should I say in the latter years, discovered it, rediscovered it. And that's what I encourage you to do. If you're going through hard times in life, get out there, guys. Do not let your foes, your opposition, prevent you from doing it. Prevent you from living life and connecting with uh, the light that is forever present because it's always there. All right, just a few thoughts. <laughs> yeah, it's pleasant. Nice little avenues, it's pleasant. It's a rural ramble today. So we'll flow it into the Y. I'm not sure what brook it is, but I'll put the details up on screen. So if you want to follow this route in the future, you can do. It's very easy. All right, bring it back. That way, through a rather muddy track. go pick our way through it's been an extremely wet uh, winter I've not known it this wet at all it's not so bad on the edges here Some of the fields are waterlogged. It'll be one of those uh, walks where we pick our way through some spots. I do like that. Uh, soaking wet. Too hot already. I have a fast wicking top uh, t-shirt on, so I'll, I'll leave that on. 
take that off, uh, in actual fact I'll hang it outside the, the rear of my rucksack. I doubt if much of it will dry but we'll give it a go. That's an old one. That's an old farm right there. You can't quite see it but the front door gives it away. Well, it's still claggy, misty and magical. You are nice and mellow. Mellow as a cello. That's what you want, isn't it? More gates. Doorways to the unknown. That way. Hey guys. <laughs> Having a good one. I just see a guy behind me doing Tai Chi. In his uh, living room, well in his back room. He was a bit startled at first. Then I just bowed and I said, I'm with you, mate. <laughs> and he carried on then. Paul used to do Tai Chi a lot. That's what it reminded me of. Yeah, he was good at it too. He'd mastered the short form. It was beautiful. Tai Chi is beautiful. All right, we're heading towards the Y. It's been a good day so far. Hey, this is a nice little spot, isn't it? Lovely little spot. <laughs> Not being bothered by anyone out here. Well, we found the trail. A bit confusing, but we found it. Here we are, the trusty old sign. The Leaping Salmon. That sheep is trapped in the brambles, can't get out. So I got my knife, my moral knife. I'm gonna cut it loose. See if it'll, see if it'll let me cut it loose. It's gonna freak out. But uh, yeah, it's got to get cut loose. Oh, there it is, there it is. You see? Look at it, it's covered in brambles. Right, there you go. It had been there for a while. It had been in there for a while. Trapped in there. <laughs> and that's all the incentive it needed. <laughs> nah, I didn't want to be on my plate surrounded by chips, did it? <laughs> all right, let's get going. Good rescue. Here's another old one. It's called simply the farm. Let's just take a peek. The whole, the whole of this uh, first floor has fallen down. But here you are, look. Look at that old TV in there. That's back in the day, isn't it? 1950s. Wow, man. Look at the old nozzle on the right there. That's an old set. Here's another one. Yeah, back in the day. Love it, love coming across old stuff like this. All right, we're near the way. Hey, there's the way down there.
just tucked away. <laughs> This is nearby Lockster's Pool. It's where one of the biggest salmon in the Wye was caught. I think back in the 1920s. I'll have to check that fact out. I'll put it up on screen. But yeah, a very big salmon was uh, netted down there somewhere. Beautiful views of the hills beyond. Radnorshire is beyond there. As I say, it's claggy and misty today. Payne's Castle is beyond there, in fact. And the River Bahawi, if you remember that one. I'll put a link up. And that was back in last spring. Back, that was back in the spring. Wow. Doesn't a year fly by? Some apricots. Good on the move, lots of energy, lots of moisture too. Beautiful. I just shouted out my brother's name Paul! Paul! Right here. Paul! Paul! You hear me, bro? Yeah, he's right there. <laughs> right here, aren't you, Paul? Right inside me and outside. Wow, what an awesome tree. Look at the limbs on this. This has been around for a while. I mean, we have awesome views, don't we? Mountain views. But a tree can stop you in its tracks too, can't it? That's absolutely gorgeous. We're heading that way. It's almost as if the tree is pointing the way. <laughs> Lovely. Beautiful. There you go tree. We have the beautiful tree, the beautiful oak. And we have the Y down there. Absolutely great. <laughs> and we have this amazing tree. Gnarly old one. Been looking at the Y for probably 200 years or more. Staring out that way. Oh, beautiful. Nice place to sit, actually. I'm going to sit here and have a bit to eat and just have a cup of tea before heading that way. All right, guys, I'll bring you back. It's been good so far.
Yeah, just a bit of mint tea. Mint tea, put plenty of sugar in it. I tend to just put sugar in my tea when I come out for walks. I don't have sugar at home. Mm. I love mint tea, it's beautiful. Especially sat under a mighty oak. <laughs> Gorgeous tree. All right, it's a good spot actually to um, just quickly say what I'm doing with the channel, the Y Explorer channel, and the, and the project. I'm going to be back out next year tomorrow <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be walking more tributaries of the Wye. I've done all the rivers now. There are in fact smaller rivers and lots of wonderful brooks. I'm still going to be exploring the Wye catchment from the Cambrians all the way down to Chepstow. So there's plenty of river walking to do, hill walking, because a lot of them start up in hills. And stealth camping. I'm going to find some good stealth camping next year. I'm also going to be walking one or two of the high hills in the catchment, in the Cambrian Mountains, in the Radna Forest, and the Black Mountains. I'm going to bag some of the highest hills. And explore some of the wonderful valleys. There are some awesome valleys I've not, I've not explored before. I've been checking out the map, I've been looking at it very closely, so yeah, I'll be out there guys, I'll be exploring the Y catchment, so more views, more interesting info, and more adventure. Hundred and eighty miles I believe, offers dyke, north to south, and it covers a, a good portion of the Y catchment. And I've wanted to do it for a long time. Paul, Paul loved the Offers Dyke. He called it the Machu Picchu of the UK. <laughs> and he wasn't far wrong. Here, are, check this clip out. Here's what Paul says about the Offers Dyke. Look at this, Offers Dyke. 1,300 years old. Check this out. just an earth mound full of rocks but it's 1,300 years old and it's still here. Fire. Oh, that's Machu Picchu level. That's what that is. We've got that here in the UK. Full on. Bye for now. That clip was on a hike we did back in 2014 I believe. Uh, brilliant hike all the way down to Chepstow. Did some good stealth camping then too. If you have any ideas, if you want me to do something in the wide catchment, and one thing I've not done is canoe. I've not canoed it. And I'm gonna be doing more open water swimming too, because swimming is my thing. You know, I am a master swimmer, so I'm gonna make more use of my swimming. So plenty to get my head round. Not going to be bored at all. Meanwhile, we're sat under this oak, just looking at the Y, flowing gently towards Hereford. We're some miles out of Hereford, probably about 19 miles from the city. More Y waters. Arteries everywhere.
yeah, wonderful day. It's really energized me. So I've been running and tabbing. So a bit of training. <laughs> no high hills, but nice undulation. And I put some weight in my sack as well. I do that just for training. So I've got a big huge sandbag in the bottom of this sack. There's no point in not doing it guys. You know, if you're long distance walking, always carry some degree of weight, do you know what I mean? Call it silent training, isn't it? Yeah, I'm uh, going to walk into Dorston via the lanes. I've just made a decision. My route was going to be different today, so I haven't got any map covering the route that I need to take in order to drop down to Dorston. I was going to drop down to Bredwardine on the other side of the hill, on the other side of Murbach Hill. So I don't know the hill that well. And if I get a wrong turn, if I make a wrong turn, I'll miss my ride. <laughs> so I'm not going to panic, and I'm not going to rush, I'm not going to race, I'm just going to have a nice amble back into Dorston. Okay, let's get going. Oh yeah, look at this, look how some people live, guys. <laughs> Check it out. Wow, that's Shangri-La, isn't it? That lovely little bridge. <laughs> Man, I know people on the street in Hereford at the moment. Worlds away from this. Worlds away from it. This one's empty. Probably nothing in it. Survival Trust. Oh, the Rare Breeds Survival Trust. The Rare Breeds Survival Trust. This old door. <laughs> this old door. It's just seen a few people, isn't it? I can still smell it too. I can still smell the old school. It's the old gate here as well, look. Check this out. As I say, you know, some businesses have folded out here. <clears throat> Small family farms, they can't survive at all. This old gate. That's seen some action, hasn't it? This is 1930s, this, this building, probably 1930s. Yeah, look at it, Art Deco, 1930s. Yeah, this is Art Deco, this is. Art Deco out here. <laughs> look at that. That's Art Deco. Yeah, so they would have been farming out here during the war. Nice view of Murbach Hill. I'll just step this side because of the wind. See, that's where I was going, going before I made my decision to walk the lanes. You see, it's a confusing patchwork hill. It's over 300 meters, so it's a big hill. And uh, my fear was that I would get lost without a map. Yeah, I was meant to head up there and drop down, drop down the other side. and into Dorston. But it's a confusing patchwork of woods, fields, and hill. Sometimes not so straightforward on the ground without a map. So yeah, this place here, it's got double glazing. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mind it. I wonder how much it's worth. I wonder how much it's being sold for. Why it's empty, look. Yeah. It's empty. 
But what a view. Great view out the back. Expect somebody will buy it and knock it down and build something else on it. More than likely, we'll go once right round. It's all old doors, all old doors in here. Yeah, 1930s, easy. <clears throat> old school farming here. Oh, look at this, this old range. Well, not such an old range, I've seen older. Old school cupboards though, eh? All right, let's uh, let's get to Dawson. Nice, nice old fireplace, look. Nice old fireplace. In this small little room. They would have been able to do business once money would be coming in but uh, what with the global economics as it is these small places can't survive their income would have just dwindled and that's it it's what you got these empty places these farms that are non-productive now I mean you've got farms being bought up by big companies many many different farms because of the economies of scale Yeah, it's sad, you know. Many families have been disbanded. Many individuals have been sat in their homes, their head in their hands, wondering what they're gonna do in the future. Do you know what I mean? It's all being played out. It's pretty, it's nice to walk, but there's real life going on as well, isn't there? I love it, what a day reveals. You set off, you don't know what's there, and all these things reveal themselves, you know. That sheep that was uh, given an incentive <laughs> to break free. All those wonderful houses back there. Met some people, three people from Gloucestershire. I didn't film them. I've had some inspired thinking, some good feelings. I've called out to Paul, I've sat under a wonderful oak and just stared at the Y. I've had a beautiful day, it's been great. Hope you've enjoyed it guys, it's been a really nice walk. Enjoyed your company, enjoyed talking to you. Yeah, you've helped, you've helped me a lot, so thank you. I've been able to talk to you guys in the last few years and express my feelings and my hurts and my pains and my joys, you know, and the things that make me happy. That's what it's about, isn't it? I think of Ollie now. I think of you, Ollie, Ollie Outdoors, you know, and the difficulties you have in life. And I liked your last video because you were honest. You expressed some of your feelings. And I'd carry on doing that, mate, because, you know, what is life without feelings? If we're supposed to present a nice shiny front all the time, then that's not real, is it? We're out here to experience real life, right? And that's the joys and the woes. And if your mates are mates, they'll go along with you. They'll go along for the ride. All right. Check all his channel out, guys. He's worth supporting, he's a good guy. I'll put a link up above and a link down below. All right then, peace. Doorstone. So, so what? The sheep are badger faced. Yes. These, uh, these um, white ones are tall D's. Right. And the black ones are tall wens. Tall D's. And tall wen. And tall wen. Yeah. How's that spelt? Don't know, tall wen or tall deans. Sounds like Torval and Dean, doesn't it? Yeah. But badger faced sheep, sheep. guys. Yeah. But see the, see the markings on these? Yeah. Well, the, the black ones should have opposite.
to what the white ones have got. Oh, I see. They're male and female? No, no, they're all females. Right, I yeah. see. But they should have a white, that black stripe or white stripe down the front right to the right down to the top of their legs. I see, they're beautiful sheep. Mm. But they don't, they have a stripe that only comes about here. Well, so are you going to put some rams in there no, in, in the spring? No, they into the ram. Oh, have they? Yeah. Right, I see. So, so you, you They should be all in lamb. They should be all ready to go, right? Yeah. Right, and got we yeah. Lamb, we lamb down about February time. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right, is that is that early nowadays or, uh, or what? No, that's late-ish. That's a, is this, really? Yeah. Right. Not real late, but... Um, right. Mm. What's your name? Phil Parrington. Phil Parrington. My name's yeah. Mark Jickles. All right. Good to meet you, Phil. Yeah, and you? Mark of Hereford. Yep. Only down the road. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's a plaque. There's a plaque. So okay. Good, good on you, Phil. Right, see Take you care, later. man. Okay, see you now. This is a creative plaque featuring uh, the village of Dorston. See the sheep there, sheep's head. I think that's a buzzard. King Arthur's stone there, look. That's at the top of Murbach Hill, well, more or less. Yeah. So this is the last entry. Phil just told me that the Pandy Inn here is the oldest in Herefordshire. It's 12th century. I've looked at it before now. Yeah, this is old. Hey guys, from around the world. The Pandy Inn in Herefordshire. 12th century. Yeah, it says 12th century, free house. 12th century Pandy Inn. Wow. Back in the day or what? So that's it. That's the walk. We're in Dorston. Well, I'm going to sit here and wait for Mike and have a cup of tea. If you want to comment, guys, please do. You know me, I always get back to you. There's quite a lot in that one. If you want to give it a thumbs up, that'd be great. I always do. <laughs> and if you want to subscribe, uh, don't forget to hit the button below. I look forward to hearing from you. Well, that was brilliant. I'll catch you guys up on the next one. Uh, I don't know where that will be or how soon, but uh, we'll catch each other up. Okay, you've been good company. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye now. All right, so here we have a uh a wonderful family guys we finished the hay on wide dorston walk and can i ask your name again connie connie S sicily sicily eli, eli katrina, katrina and, daniel. and daniel and these guys are from cambridgeshire. cambridgeshire that's in stereo that's brilliant they used to say that about me and my brother in stereo <laughs> the, the these two girls are twins guys absolutely amazing and it means something to me every time. This is quite special. It's really wonderful meeting you guys. Uh, that's yeah, great. That's great. And I uh, hope you come back, all right? We yeah, will. All it's right. a good way to see 2019 out, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Absolutely. Great walk. Yeah. So from me to you, thanks, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Peace to you. Yeah. <laughs>